Most Russians celebrated the end of communism and its centrally planned economy, but the shift to free enterprise had its unintended side effect. Vast new opportunities for the Russian mafia. According to an estimate by the Kremlin, the underworld now controls as much as 40% of the nation's economy. The Russian mob has also extended its tentacles into New York and other American cities. Join us now as the History Channel presents Organized Crime, A World History, Russia. It's the fastest growing criminal organization in the world. Money. They always think in larger terms than the rest of organized crime. If I had to use uh, one word to describe the guy, it was just vicious. As far as Russians are concerned, th there are no rules. Everybody is fair game. When you looked at Russian monsters, what do they do for fun? They play chess. So that gives you a little bit of idea what kind of people you're dealing with. And so begins a new game, a dangerous sting that will eventually expose the shocking reach of the world's most dynamic underworld, the Red Mafia. The Red Mafia, a term covering organized crime groups from all the former Soviet republics, emerged with a vengeance from the rubble of the USSR, criminal millionaires minted overnight. In Russia, an estimated 80% of all businesses were paying protection money and the mob controlled most of the country's banks. The Red Fellas, as they're often called, quickly earned a reputation for ruthlessness, and they even killed journalists who reported on them. I have worked the Italian-American Mafia, the Sicilian Mafia, the Colombian Mafia, and the Russian Mafia. And I would consider that the Russian Mafia is the most fearsome, uh, the most treacherous, most violent, of all the organized crime groups that I've ever worked. I remember when Scotland Yard first discovered Russian organized crime, they said, what are all these PhDs from Russia staying in our most expensive hotels in downtown London? These Russian guys have master's degrees, they're engineers, they're economists. It's a whole different notion of organized crime than what we've had before. Meanwhile, Congress has seven pending inquiries into the Russian interference in the elections. According to the American intelligence services, the documents were stolen by Russian hackers. Tonight on Panorama, the Russian crime war that has reached the UK. Nobody was safe. Berezovsky survived a car bomb. Vladimir Putin was Berezovsky's hand-picked choice as Yeltsin's successor. The most powerful man in Russia was now the president. In the spring of 2012, Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin entered the Kremlin to start his third term as president of Russia. Of course, there has always been corruption in Russia, but building it into such a meticulous system was something only Mr. Putin has managed to do. If you put these people in the United States or in Canada and check what they've done, they're criminals. It is everywhere. It is a system. The question is, what will he do next? When Zembla investigates Trump's business partners, it comes across the Russian mafia. That's very interesting. He's becoming Russia's candidate. Donald Trump, the election hacking was done to make him president for Vladimir Putin. Father, who was uh, named Mikhail Shefirovsky, changed his name to Seder, and was called by the FBI a uh, syndicate crime boss for Simeon Mogilevich's uh, uh, Moscow organized crime family. 
Logan Levich is a, is a very high profile international organized crime figure. He's a man of a great. Sater and Trump got into business together in the early 2000s. Some of the leaders of the gang are arrested and convicted. Trump himself says he had no idea that this was a fraudulent transaction. Meanwhile, hearings are being conducted in Congress about the Russian interference in the presidential elections. This is tape number one of the videotape deposition of Mr. Donald J. Trump. About how many times have you have you conversed with Mr. Sater? Over the years? Over the years, if you could ask. Not him. many. Not many. If he were sitting in the room right now, I, I really wouldn't know what he looked like. Okay. This time, Trump says he wouldn't even recognize Sater if he bumped into him in the street. Back in Washington, Congress is investigating Trump's Russian connections. Vast new opportunities for the Russian mafia. The Russian mob has also extended its tentacles into New York and other American cities. The Russians may be...